Hello, Red here, bringing you part uh, two of uh, Mussolini's Roman Empire Electric Boogaloo uh, Roman em uh, uh, Marino Storm. Okay, let's begin. So, the S Spanish Civil War has begun. Looks like the National Spain is fairly encroaching onto Barcelona. Madrid's already been taken. So, the most likely about to win. We could check and see how they're doing. We give them two of our weakest divisions, put some command in charge, probably this guy, and we can ask um, National Spain if they want volunteers. There we go. So off they go, off to the war. It always a bit of a, a tiny bit of military equipment, but we do have support women support weapons automatically made. Though strangely enough, even though we have support weapons researched, it's automatically given to all of our troops. Anyways though, we're going to increase industry, as we're going to he focus heavily on industrial research at this time. And of course our Volunteer forces are going to arrive sooner or later. Hopefully. There you go. You got claims on Yugoslavia. The anti commentant pact is a option that we can choose. I can say no. We still have justifications against Yugoslavia. We do have claims though. But that's fine. We can support National Spain, but I don't really need the alliance, especially since... Of course you know. Spain's part of the Roman Empire. We don't need them as friends. We need them as conquer... We need to conquer them. Plus, we like to take over Albania, if I can. Regardless, though, we will go for Barcelona ourselves. Our troops are much better prepared than the Spanish are. And hopefully from there, we'll go and aid our friends. Or at least give us something to do while we continue to consolidate our forces. Looks like they're not even defending Barcelona. So while the troops are... Oh, no, they are. Never mind. Oh, and our troops are getting cut off. So go cut them off here. Stop the attack. Nope, nope, nope. Don't do that. Go back. There we go. We need to make sure we don't actually lose troops during this war. But if we could end the civil war fairly quickly, that could be a plus. Also, Germany is helping us within the attack. So that's fairly nice of them. We'll soon be able to push them back over. I'm surprised I'm not seeing many Russians, though. Even though I think I did see the Russian... Yep, Russian volunteers are here. In some capacity. Let's see. Nope, they're going to block us off, sadly. But regardless though, we are winning. It doesn't matter because they will lose regardless. They were doing to make sure that we knock out uh, King Zord here. Because we would like Albania if we're going to go and take Yugoslavia. Unless you have decent infrastructure here. Hmm.
We're getting close to Albanian occupation. We have improved machine tools done. And probably do we need to really focus on getting more resources? Probably not within our area. There wouldn't be a bad idea to get guns up and running. Of course, it's a bit of a head time. But uh, we need to admit any questions Yugoslavian sovereignty. Who determines the borders of a nation? How are they all determined? Whatever way people have, may have found the past to justify where Italy ends and Yugoslavia begins. We live in a new era. The strategic importance of this border cannot be overstated. And we will, within our rights, have shifted to ensure the continued security of our people. Listening to Benino Mussolini's recent speeches, the invasion of Yugoslavia appears imminent. Dissenting voices have objected, but the public support for war is on the rise. Aha. Uh -huh. We should be able to give, um, reassign armies here. At this point. We do need to wait for the. What General. Or King Zod says about, uh, his country. Of course, in the moment. We're we'll focusing on building more merchant factories. And, uh, Albania yields. The Albanian authorities have agreed to our demands and King Zon has been forced to advocate. From now on, until the end of time, Albania shall be Italian. Aha. Which is fairly, really good news. Because once we, you know, we invade Yugoslavia, we can now take them on from two points. And Zonk submits to Italy. An ultimatum has been delivered to the Albanian government by Italian diplomats demanding they submit to complete military occupation. King Zon is advocated by releasing the fertility of resistance, and Albania will now be ruled by a personal union under King Victor Emmanuel III. Italy now looks to the Balkans. And of course, we do have political power to increase our production, and we will straightly go on to the war economy, because we need to make lots and lots and lots of guns. Of course, though, we need to go and start sending troops this way, so that these men are at the ready to take over. And all of you need to go to the front. Actually, though, If we send 12 here to our third field marshal, we can stage a three prong attack onto Yugoslavia. I hope we have enough resources to maintain 12 troops here. There we go. And Benito Mussolini and goodbye Yugoslavian posturing. Da -da -da, same thing. Must be ready for war. And war will eventually come in about 60 days. Just about. Of course the Spanish volunteers are not doing too well. The fighting continues, but it's slow and steady. So not much progress has been made at all. But we should win soon enough. Luckily though, since we moved on to war economy, our increase in weapons have greatly increased. Of course we need to be making more and more guns. And we need to start making um which is more important. Probably more artillery. Because I do want to go artillery heavy once the wall comes. The main wall. Go on, so Yugoslavia doesn't have that many troops, only 14 to 32. So if they had maximum, we would basically be evenly matched, but we are attacking from three sides. 
So hopefully that'll be able to push them back over. And Amelie Earhart disappears. The famous aviator Amelie Earhart is the first woman to complete a solo flight across the Atlantic. She disappeared along with her navigator, Fred Nguyen, near Howen Island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. The two were attempting a flight around the entire world in their twin engine, Lockheed Electra, plane when they vanished. A search for the missing aviators now being conducted by the US Navy and Coast Guard, but they will never be found. And Benito Mussolini speaks against Yugoslavia. Does Yugoslavia belong to the Yugoslavian? Let us ask ourselves a better question. Does the future belong to Yugoslavian? While we strive for greatness and power, they have displayed nothing but hopelessness backwards. Backwards attitudes, having no history to pride themselves on, and they are directionless. Why should they occupy land that can be used to the great Italian people? Benito Mussolini's speech day met with cheers and applause from supporters, suggesting that Italy is on the path to war. If path is a truly a pause in mankind's natural state of war, as Partito National Fascista states, then it should be expected. And luckily, no one is guaranteeing this country. Though Pax Americana has come into play, but luckily we have no interest in taking over the Americas so far. So our next step into Basically, war. It's Mary Nostrum, so we can actually get some more ships on the go. Make sure we will not lose. And we're only just a few days away from claiming our first war. I mean, a second war. The first one doesn't really count since it's fairly easy. And the Monco Polo Bridge incident appears a bit later than usual. But will Japan declare war? Hmm. Perhaps the world will never know. Ah. And Yugoslavia can now be ours for the taking. So we will conquer them. Of course, we all set a three prong attack. Of course, we reduce the speed to make sure that we see good progress on the borders. And here we go. So, we're making decent progress up here with our surprise attack. Definitely be getting prepared defenses. And have Grand Assault too. So, all of our troops have lots of planning. And field hospitals are now done. Which definitely we shall get recon companies on the go. And while we're in the middle of the war, probably need to be getting some field hospitals. And so we do have plenty of trucks to use. Let's see, up here in the north, we're making decent progress to eradicate the Yugoslavians. And we're making fine progress here too. Though the Albanian front seems a bit stalled. Though hopefully you'll be able to route the enemy soon enough. We just have to make sure that we not lose too many casualties though. The casualties compared to Yugoslavia is fairly high, which means we're doing really excellent work. Probably don't even really need to control our troop movement too much. Though we are fairly open here, so why don't we just go drive to Belgrade? Belgrade, whatever. And our volunteers arrive back home. Trained as ever. Probably just assign them over to here. I think we're doing fairly well with the wall. They have three times the casualties. And they're already broken on two fronts with the enemy.
Oh, can we march the seven yo? Can we do it? Here's our tank. Do it. Let's go ahead and break your Slavia. There we go. Once you take that, we win the war. Aha. Uh -huh. And of course, as any peace treaty, we will simply fully annex you. Ah. And that's a beautiful Italy. And probably a few people are upset that we decide to take it over. Could. But there are no lines between France or Britain. Could be a good option to go and take things sooner and later. The UK is really planning on stopping us from taking anything else. But our next step is definitely to take over Romania. We definitely really want to go and get, um, which province is it? Oh yes, this one. We need to go invade Romania so we can get the oil. Hopefully don't go in a war against Russia. They will start putting troops on the front line to make sure that we will not, uh, suffer too much. Concentrated industry is now researched. Greatly increasing production. We probably need to start researching synthetic oil. Because that would be greatly important to us. Of course, the Kingdom of Romania is being guaranteed by France and Britain. Sadly. So once Germany decides to go and invade, I don't know, Poland. Wouldn't be a bad idea to hopefully ask him to attack France. And they would join our faction. Definitely. Let's see, are you better or not? You definitely go over there. Merge the troops. And then set everyone to go and pretty much go for these front lines. Thankfully though, France and the UK are not allies, but if we do go to war for Romania, it will sadly be a bit uh, difficult. The United Kingdom announces Balkan diplomatic initiative. The United Kingdom must stand alone and see the threat of the Central Europe, with the status as independent nation guaranteed by the now challenging Challenge Treaty of Versailles. With the fascist powers and the aggressive rhetoric claiming the right to the territory, several states have seen the lead to a pro British policy. The United Kingdom has responded to this development by redoubling their dim diplomatic efforts in the region. Oh, and Japan declares war on China. Just to let you know. So you probably do want to befriend Bulgaria. They probably don't really want to go and ally them. I 
We do have three dockyards though, and we will assign them to a few things here. There we go. And from here though, I think I'll call it upon here. So I'll see you in the next part. We go and decide that not taking Romania will be worth a second world war. So I'll have to see you then. And goodbye.